Diana Davis and Gleb Smolkin are the third dance duo in our hierarchy. The participants of the 2022 Olympics are probably moving to the U.S. national team. This was reported by The Skating Lesson with reference to Itari Tutbirds, Diana's mother. Itari has confirmed that Diana Davis will represent the USA. Then the post continued, she, Itari, wants to train in the USA, but it's impossible. She has too many skaters and she can't take them. But she would like to do it, now this part of the message is not there. Exhaled? Trying to figure it out. Important. Tutbirds in social networks called the news about her desire to train in the USA another fake. Diana Davis reposted the picture sports.ru she wrote about the transition. What interesting news we will find out about ourselves. 1. How authoritative is the source of the skating lesson? This is not the media, but Dave Liz's blog on enthusiasm and love for the figure. He is not perfect, but sometimes he gets great insiders. The spread is serious, a couple of examples to understand, about a year ago, Liz suspected our skaters of taking hormone blockers, largely only on the basis of Anna Sturbakova's appearance. The topic resonated for a short period, even our federation answered Lisa, but there were no real actions, investigation, lawsuits, apologies, a month ago, TSL was the first to announce the news about Tutbirds' upcoming trip to Boston, not just to meet with his daughter, but on business. To bring together with new coaches and choreographer, to control. And this insider was confirmed, Davis and Smolkin, who are raised by the famous coach Igor Spilband, now also work with Evgeny Platov, in the 90s he won two Olympic gold medals in a row in dancing, as well as with the fashionable choreographer Benoit Richeau. The Frenchman has been helping the elite for a long time, Takamashiva, Miyahara, Tenel, last season Kaori Sakamoto with his productions, took World Cup gold and Olympic bronze. The Russian national team is suspended from international competitions. And then it turns out that Risho is either working with the duo for the sake of stages inside Russia, or they are preparing a transition for Diana and Gleb. They have an excellent perspective at the international level. Davis and Smolkin are young, they have just debuted at the Olympics, but competition is expected to decline in dancing, several top duets are leaving, Russian leaders are falling out of the fight. And the potential, given the connection of Platov and Risho, you can catch up to the top five. And then, as on the steps to the Games 2026, isn't it a working scenario? 2. Diana Davis has an American passport, she was born in 2003 in Las Vegas. At the beginning of spring, a funny story arose out of the blue with this fact. Diana posted a post on social networks with her photos in the city Mirage Casino, fountains, shops and signed in Russian and in English. I am so proud that I was born in such a beautiful city. She got so caught up in the comments that the signature soon changed, and in both languages. It's great that I was born in such a beautiful city. Gleb Smolkin does not have an American passport. But to get to all tournaments, except the Olympics, Diana's passport will be enough. The 2026 games are a little more complicated, but the same TSL has already outlined a completely working option. If Davis and Smolkin get married in the summer, then the road to Milan, not yet according to the result, but at least according to the documents, is open. Probably, for the sake of all this, you will have to drop out of full-time studies at the Astrakhan State Technical University, there the couple has their first year behind them. They say that all exams tests were passed remotely. If the TSL information is correct, then we are interested in the position of our federation, they usually know nothing about the most important things there, and when it comes to switching to other flags, they strain. The Russian Figure Skating Federation is consistently for complicating the procedure and tightening quarantine. In the spring of 2020, a rule has been established within the federation. A transition from Russia is possible two years after a request from a foreign federation for participants of championships or championships of the country in one year. 3. Diana Davis and Gleb Smolkin are the only Russian figure skaters who did not support the events that began in February in Ukraine. Posts with quotes can be found in social networks for both at the end of winter. 4. Coincidence or not, but a Terry Tutbirds' Instagram was thoroughly cleaned at the end of March, minus 21 posts. 
All images where there is a Russian flag disappeared. A photo with Vladimir Putin disappeared. On October 7, 2020, Itari congratulated him on his birthday. Happy birthday, Vladimir Vladimirovich. I wish you health and strength in the realization of all good intentions. Thank you so much for supporting Russian sports. There is no such post now. How can I not remember the Tutbirds did not come to the Kremlin in April, where the Olympians were honored? Although the faithful assistants Daniel Glachengos and Sergei Dudikov were there. Tutbirds' Instagram now includes coaching achievements, family and Diana. 5. I will be honest. I have only one favorite this is my daughter, important words from an interview with Atari to Channel 1 at the end of 2021.